can you ever imagine how something as luxurious and fine as silk can come from such a tiny insect it's truly mind-blowing to think that all this beauty and elegance come from a small creature how did humans figure out this process how we've learned to work with nature transforming something so simple into something so extraordinary it is amazing to think about all the different steps involved each one so carefully planned to create something as valuable as silk it makes you wonder what other incredible secrets does nature have waiting for us to discover for now let's dive into the process and see how it all works in silk production farmers carefully manage the entire life cycle of silkworms in a controlled environment this process is called seri culture or simply rearing of silkworm it all begins when a female silk moth or female silkworm lays hundreds of eggs farmers ensure these eggs are kept in clean hygienic conditions with right temperature and humidity when the weather warms up the larvae hatch from the eggs ready to the move on to the next stage of their growth the next stage as you might have guessed is the larvae stage of the in the life cycle of silkworm or from the farmer's perspective it's all about feeding the larvae right farmers usually have large areas dedicated to mulberry farming alongside silk production do you know why because silkworms are super picky eaters so stubborn they feed exclusively on mulberry leaves and won't touch anything else mulberry leaves are packed with vitamins proteins and other nutrients that silkworms need to grow fully interestingly silkworms don't even need water the moisture in the mulberry leaves is enough to keep them hydrated can't blame the silkworm for being picky about mulberry leaves right now once the silkworm hatch the larvae or the caterpillars as it is commonly called are carefully placed on bamboo trays and here is the actual work begins the farmer feed them fresh full mulberry leaves non stop day and night for over the next 25 to 30 days these hungry little caterpillars then keep on eating those leaves growing growing significantly in size and getting ready for their next stage of life cycle once the larvae or the caterpillars are fully grown the farmers stop feeding them mulberry leaves the caterpillars are now moving on to the next stage of their life cycle the cocoon stage and guess what it's the farmer's job to transfer them to a cocoon farm now what exactly is a cocoon farm a cocoon farm is like a friendly environment designed for the caterpillars to produce their cocoons like the one you see here at this stage the caterpillars are moved to this specialized setup and the setup could be bamboo branches or chambers like the ones you see in this picture uh, these chambers are super creative made from wood metal or even thread farmers use all kinds of structures for this purpose the main goal here is to provide caterpillar with a comfortable space to start their big task that is cocoon formation and this is where the magic happens the caterpillar secretes silk threads and weave a protective cocoon around themselves you have seen this part in the video for life cycle of silkworm the farmers have an imp important role here too they make sure the structures are well protected from any insect attacks and maintain a perfect environment for the caterpillars to work their magic it's all about setting the right conditions so the cocoons can form completely with the best quality once the cocoon formation is complete the cocoons are harvested carefully before the caterpillars emerge because if they break out they can damage the silk thread once collected the cocoons are tried to kill the caterpillars and preserve the long unbroken silk thread this step is very important to make sure the silk stays in the best condition for the next stages of production after that the real magic begins the silk threads are carefully extracted from the cocoons these threads are then dyed in beautiful colors to get the desired shades finally the dyed threads are spun and processed further to produce silk yarn 
it's pretty amazing to think how much work goes into creating the silk fabrics we love, right? Every step from the tiny caterpillar to the finished silk yarn is done with such care and precision. The production of silk from silkworm to fiber is a fascinating and pretty involved process as you can see here. It takes a lot of care, precision, experience and skill. Starting from the hundreds of eggs laid by the female moth and the larvae are fed mulberry leaves in a basket. Once they have grown big enough, they are transferred to a cocoon farm where they begin their cocoon formation. After the cocoon formation is complete, it is time for harvesting. The harvesting cocoons are then dried and during this process the caterpillars are killed, which is necessary to preserve the silk thread. Once the cocoons are dried, next step is extracting the silk thread. These thread are then dyed to add the desired color. After the dyeing process, the silk is spun into yarn. Finally, this yarn is used to create fabric ready for all sorts of beautiful silk products. It is pretty amazing how much work goes into making something as soft and luxurious as silk, don't you think? Every step is carefully done to ensure the best quality fiber in the end.